the answer to the question and a, a, a seeking the Holy Grail. What would that be? The quest for the Grail. The quest for holy seeking. Okay, holy seeking. Okay, let me see. What do you think of Dee Dee's photos? I think they're really good. What? I think they are really good. In what way? Just um, the colors. I always work with the ocean because here in out outside of Normandy, the uh, uh, channel or La Manche is green because of all the algae in the water. It's not blue. So to get the different shades of green in the water is really, really a lot of fun. It's really enjoyable. And sometimes I like it and sometimes I don't. I finished it, a Wall Street Journal puzzle, and I'm really deep into the next one. And I thought they were going to be hard, but uh, maybe I'm just getting geared up. What's harder, a Wall Street Journal or a New York Times? Well, for me, the New York Times, because I'm not in the States to see what some of these answers are. And I don't know sports, and I don't even, you know, the movies are all horrible. And I don't know any of the young singers or the actors or anybody. So how can I do? So I've got to wait around, wait around, wait around and, and see what fits. And if it comes to, like I just filled in a name, Naomi. Naomi, uh, what was her last name? Judd? Yeah. But I, fi I figured it out, see. But if I were living in that same era or, you know. But what makes a... I mean, the Wall Street Journal's from New York as well. Why would that be? What makes that easier? Uh, it's just that it, it's not a question of ease as much as it, the puzzle doer makes more sense. Like the person who puts it together. A lot of the New York Times uh, puzzles are so old that I don't know how young people can do them. I mean, I know the answers. One of the answers, Well, maybe young people aren't doing them. What? Maybe young people aren't doing them. I bet that's, you know what? I bet that's true. You know? Mark, could you do me a favor and turn off that, uh... Oh, yes. I have a feeling that, that you're absolutely right. Because it was a question and the answer was Hetty for Hetty, Hetty Lamar. But you wouldn't even know who Hetty Lamar is, do you? This is like a gossip columnist. That... No, that's Hetty Hopper. Oh. Hetty Hopper. Well, Hetty Lamar is a singer, right? No, nope. she was a beautiful woman, sort of in the same uh, class as uh, uh, the English woman who played, who married uh, the Shakespeare guy. Vivian Lee. Vivian Lee. She was, Eddie Lamar was absolutely glamorous. You should look her up and get somebody that looks like her. Well, I know the name. Yeah. Uh, she was in the same era as Lana Turner. And she had a beautiful face. I'm trying to think of who she looks like today. What film was she in? Oh, Hedy Lamar. Oh, I can't remember. Um, what films? Uh, she always got ultra, ultra glamorous or rich parts. Well, okay. I don't know any film of hers. You know, I know the name, but I could. Well. Oh, just because, by the way, when she was a star, I was also a young girl. And I, uh, I didn't go to the movies all the time. People didn't go to movies as much. Was she silent terror? 
Oh, no, 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 no. But you know, uh, you know, it was, <coughs> it was in one of the original uh, TV shows is your grandmother. Really? Yeah. Uh, she and uh, she was at Esther's house and they had the television on and they were doing a retrospective of the origins of uh, uh, TV. So Granny said, um, uh, oh, I, I was in some of those things, you know. Uh, before television, I was on television before it was... So anyway, everybody wants, you know, oh, yeah, sure, Granny. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, in the, on their faces, lo and behold, the thing that she was in gets put on the TV. And she said, well, here it is. Here is my group that I was in. And look at that's me right there. And they had it on for quite a while, so I would love to see that again. And I think it was the... Um, that, uh, what was the studio she worked for in New York? Um, well, anyway, Granny was saying that uh, they were looking for, for uh, groups, too, to put on television to practice and to see how, uh, you know, they could put the action with the, with the lighting and the color and the music, etc. So one of her company company um, uh, would be exactly what they wanted to use to test out uh, the beginnings of t TV. And uh, so they were singing and she was part of the dance troupe too, even though she wasn't a dancer. You know, they uh, coordinate a lot of different people. But anyway, so there she was. And it was right during the conversation. There was mom. I just said, that is mom. And, oh, my gosh. And uh, I, I don't know whether she was in costume. I, yeah, she might have been in uh, costume as well. But anyway, isn't that interesting? Yeah. I didn't know that about Granny. Yeah. It's awesome. I know. I just, I I'm going to tell uh, Tui Lobo about that. You're going to tell Tui? Yeah, yeah. He, he wanted to know about uh, Jersey City and stuff like that. But we'll talk about that. Jersey City, will you get off it? We left Jersey. Granny didn't like Jersey City. She was a country girl. She liked beautiful territory. And she did not, well, the city was lovely, et cetera, et cetera. And that's where the, uh, fa the Smith family lived. And Dad could get on the train and uh, close to the city, hop into New York. Well, he had a wonderful job, and it was Depression times, by the way. And he was doing very well indeed because he had a job. He also had a law degree, but he didn't pursue it because lawyers were starving to death, and he had a good job. But anyway, the, uh, the thing that happened was, Granny, uh, I had a, a nanny uh, who had immigrated from Poland. Her name was uh, Alga. She was a sister to a uh, young girl who uh, worked for Aunt Vera. But anyway, Granny would take the bus out to the suburbs and scout out the different suburbs of what were lovely towns, etc., etc. And she got, got help uh, with uh, where to go. Come on, time Where's for my, dinner. Where's my, uh, oh yes, here I come. I'm elevating my body. I, I, I gradually put the thing down uh, so that I'll get more exercise really. Don't fall, Ma, because I don't want to catch it on tape. Oh, no, 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 I wouldn't want to do it. You would love to catch it on tape. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> I would not. Okay, one, two, three. You got it?
Hank. Hank, you sure? Sounds good. Why not? What did you think of Hank? I guessed. We have no idea, and I'm putting it in an ink? Yeah. <laughs> you got a, I have to have a lot of confidence in you, I've got to tell you that. Damn well better. Yes, okay, that's it.